The Royal Canadian Mounted Police History ISU by Aisha Stenger Almas. What is the RCMP, you ask? Good question. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police is the National Police Force of Canada that was established in May 1873 by the Parliament of Canada. They are an agency of the Ministry of Public Safety Canada. What do they do? The RCMP is a police force that provides national, federal, provincial, and municipal police services. This makes them unique in the world. They are under contract to eight provinces, excluding Ontario and Quebec, three territories, and more than 150 municipalities. They also provide police services to over 600 Aboriginal communities. This force also partners with 19 other Canadian police forces on different peacekeeping missions. In this capacity, they have been assigned to peacekeeping teams in many countries, such as Haiti, Croatia, Bosnia, Yugoslavia, and Guatemala. Why are they important, you ask? One of the reasons they are important is that they have power to provide policing services across Canada and are not limited by provincial or municipal boundaries. The RCMP is also one of Canada's oldest police forces. They have also been involved in many international peacekeeping missions and manage Canada's involvement in international civilian policekeeping and other operations to support peace. The RCMP are easily recognized in their bright red uniforms and have become a symbol of Canada around the world. As ambassadors of Canada, the RCMP Musical Ride is a display team that has been performing all around the world for many years and is an excellent representation of Canada. The RCMP History After the Red River Rebellion of 1869-70, there was a problem with whiskey trading and warfare among the Indians of the Plains. Because the government wanted to settle the Canadian Northwest, it was important that the area be made safe and order be restored. After a fact-finding journey for the Canadian government in 1872, Colonel P. Robertson Ross recommended that a regiment of 550 mounted riflemen be created to monitor the territory and protect the railway builders and surveyors. On May 3, 1873, Sir John A. Macdonald introduced a bill to create this new police force. The bill was passed on May 23rd, and the Northwest Mounted Police was created. This name was a change from the Northwest Mounted Rifles, which is what they had been called in the planning stages. The name was changed to satisfy the bordering American states, who felt that it sounded too much like a military force being sent to patrol the Canadian border. On July 8, 1874, this force of 275 officers and men began their march west to intercept the whiskey traders from Montana. The plan was to move to the forks of the Belly and Bow Rivers, where they thought they would find the headquarters of the whiskey traders at Fort Whoopa. They failed to find the fort and stopped for the winter in the Sweet Grass Hills. They had covered 1,700 kilometers in 72 days. Although they never did catch up with the whiskey traders, Assistant Commissioner McLeod found an ideal site for permanent camp near today's city of Lethbridge. He built Fort McLeod and established the Northwest Mounted Police in Western Canada. The RCMP was in constant demand and even helped in the migration of Sitting Bull's Sioux Tribe after the Battle of Little Bighorn. They also played important roles in the Northwest Rebellion of 1885 and in the Yukon Gold Rush. In the First World War, the Royal Northwest Mounted Police provided border patrols, surveillance of enemy aliens, and enforced Canada's security regulations. The jurisdiction of today's RCMP was extended throughout Canada in 1920, when the name was also changed to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. During the Second World War, the number one Provost Company was created for military police duties overseas and the RCMP Marine and Air Personnel transferred to the Canadian Navy and Air Force. 
to the RCMP today. Under the direction of the Solicitor General of Canada, the Commissioner of the RCMP manages operations from the Ottawa headquarters. There are 13 operational divisions, with their headquarters located in the capital cities of provinces and territories. These operational divisions are divided into 52 subdivisions and 723 detachments that are supported by air and marine services. Today, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police has a force of more than 20,000 men and women and is Canada's national force. It provides policing across Canada, except for Ontario and Quebec. The hard-working women in the RCMP even though women are a minority in the force, the RCMP has been hiring women for the last 40 years. In October 2014, they set a goal for the first time to enroll as many women as men in their training academy, recognizing that it is important that the force be more representative of the communities they serve. The original uniform for women in the force was a navy blue skirt, black shoes, scarlet tunic with a white turtleneck, and a cloth cap. In 1976, it was recommended that female members be allowed to wear the same uniform as the males. This recommendation was denied, and it took until 2012 for women to gain equality in uniforms. The famous RCMP uniform. The original uniform of the Northwest Mounted Police came from the militia stores in Ottawa and was similar to the British Army uniform. The scarlet jacket was chosen so that this Canadian police force could be easily distinguished from the Americans in their blue uniforms, thereby gaining the confidence of the First Nations people. The trousers were grey and the boots were black for parades and brown on duty. This original uniform also had a pillbox cap that was held on by a thin strap under the chin. They also had a white helmet with a brass spike and a plume with different colors according to the rank of the person wearing it. Today, the uniform consists of the scarlet jacket, navy blue pants with a yellow stripe that identifies a cavalry history, brown leather riding boots along with the campaign hat. This is the end of my presentation. I hope you liked it, and thank you for watching.